start here tonight against the Dallas Cowboys, who got the ball first for Jason Garrett, four and two as the interim head coach, trying to assure himself of a winning record as the interim head coach. But the second play of the game was a pick six by Dominic Rogers Cromartie, Brian. And this guy has the ability to be one of the elite corners in the game. Miles Austin slips. He was very aggressive, made the play, and you know what he's going to do with it. Watch the hands, sit up under, beat him to the spot. Now let's go to the house and do my dance. 7 nothing for the homestanding Arizona oh. Cardinals. Oh, he went high-stepping. Yes, he, he's going to practice. He went high-stepping. Next Cowboys possession, eighth play of the drive. This is a pick six now by Greg Toller off the tip drill off of Roy Williams' hands. Cardinals up 14 nothing. And Roy, who was questionable before the game, just couldn't hold on to it. He was, and it was on the back shoulder. Now, John saw some defenders coming close, so it was a little bit behind Roy. But Johnny on the spot here. Greg Toller goes yard and beats the quarterback with his speed. They go up 14 and nothing. A way to get things going for your third-string quarterback, Jerry Jones, not liking it. He certainly wouldn't like this. John Skelton, the first-ever Fordham quarterback in the NFL. We're learning a Fordham man needs a good Citadel wide receiver to throw to. A wide-open on. Andre Roberts, 74 yards, and suddenly Ken Wisenhout has ordered a code red on the Cowboys. It's 21-3 on Christmas night. What happened here? This is indicative of the way the secondary and Michael Jenkins have been playing throughout the year. A simple out-and-up route, beat him, tried to grab him, slipped and fell. Next thing you hear is six. Next drive, Sam Hurd. It's incomplete on the 10th play of a drive. John Kitna falls on his hip. And he would leave the game for a moment. It's a first down Cowboys because it was an offsides on Arizona. Next play, Stephen McGee comes in the game, hands it off to Marion Barber. McGee, the fourth round pick from last year, first action as an NFL quarterback. Kitna comes back in on fourth down to find Jason Witten for the very first touchdown of the game for Dallas. And Kitna would leave to go to the locker room at halftime comes out of the locker room, could not go, so it's up to Stephen McGee in a game that he's now down by eight, handed off to Marion Barber, which worked very well. This is what they needed to do now, establish the ground game. They had a good day running the football with the young quarterback, second-year player that hasn't played before. A 24-yard score for number 24, who took off his helmet, cost him 15 yards on the ensuing kickoff. Down by four, it's Stephen McGee with his feet, tack on five more for illegal contact down the field, and swish! Looks like LeBron and Staples Center today as well. Less than two minutes to go. Down by four, Stephen McGee. It's incomplete on fourth down, but in comes the flag for pass interference. Fresh set of downs for the Dallas Cowboys, and Jerry Jones likes the call. With the fresh set of downs, what would they do? McGee would go up top to Miles Austin. Touchdown. How did that ball get through? Perfect throw. Now he had to beat the free safety with the throw. He got it in there just in time. One of his 11 completions. Fantastic throw. Oh, why are we showing the extra point? Doink! No, he didn't. Beeler? Anyone? Beeler? Okay. Beeler. So it's only a two-point game for John Skelton. To work some magic on fourth and long. Only catch of the game for Larry Fitzgerald. That keeps the drive alive. The Cardinals get it down to the Cowboys 25 and spike the ball. But here comes a flag. We thought it was a false start. If it was, the clock would have been run off with a 10-second runoff. Instead, it's just a legal motion. Move the ball five yards back for Jay Feely for the game winner. He got it with five ticks to go. And the Cardinals on Christmas night win an absolute University of Phoenix barn burner. Stephen McGee set up to be the hero. Instead, it is Jay Feely with the roof open.